We just wrapped up talking with Congressman Turner from Ohio about the, the Delphi issue, but something else is in the news today as we're sitting here. Uh, the issue with uh, the ambassador to Libya being killed and the uprising going on in Egypt. Can you bring us up to speed on what's happening on that? Yes, um, I sit on the Armed Services Committee, so obviously this is an area of, of grave concern um, as it um, uh, you know, affects really uh, you know, those who want to continue to do the United States harm. Uh, it does appear, as we're getting information now, that this was a planned attack. This was not um, you know, a spontaneous um, a, a riot that, in fact, they had targeted um, our ambassador and State Department personnel. Um, I, I think this calls into question the, the president's whole strategy on Libya and really the Middle East. Mm -hmm. um, when the president went in to remove Muammar Gaddafi, um, he did not have uh, either an, an exit plan, a transition plan, or even an understanding of who the insurgents were, what government would uh, result from that. Uh, the geopolitical view of that government to its neighbors, uh, or specifically even to us. Um, and so now we're in the aftermath of that action where the president um, is, is sitting with an, an ill-defined policy um, and uh, you know, Americans that have been killed and uh, you know, our, our, uh, our country's still at risk. I was actually sitting in Representative Burton's office yesterday about the time that all of this was happening. We didn't know it at the time, of course. But he was commenting at, at the time about the uh, basically ineptness of the Obama administration in its policy on this. And it, it turns out that that was very prophetic in, in what happened in the last 24 hours. Right, because what, you know, the, the basis of any uh, foreign policy goal should be, you know, how does it advance the interests of the United States? Right. Um, and this president has, uh, with the, um, the issue of the, um, um, the spring through the Middle East has, has taken positions where um, he has not had a clear interest of the United States or a defined policy objective, and then also where he's not even been assured as to what the, the outcome would be, uh, even if he's supporting, um, um, you know, if he's, he's picked winners and losers. Uh, so I think, uh, you know, as, as a whole, uh, you know, there, there are a couple things we can take from this. One, you know, there are people out there who still um, are extremists that want to hurt the United States and hurt Americans. Mm -hmm. uh, and secondly, uh, you know, this president's policies are, are very dangerous um, because of, of their lack of, of uh, definition and focus. Well, we've clearly seen that they're not very good at picking winners and losers in this country as in the Delphi case, and now same thing over here in the Middle East as well. Absolutely. Well, thank you for the update on that. We appreciate it. Well, thanks for being here.